I see there's a, a current trend of some YouTubers out there that are buying these Chinese electric sport bikes for real cheap. Uh, and also the, uh, the gas driven uh, electric sport bikes out there. Super cheap, like $1,200. You can buy one. And they look cool, man. They make them look like this bike. Like it looks real cool. So people think you're on a proper sport bike. <laughs> For those of you guys who want to get the attention from the ladies. Looking good on your little Chinese sport bike out there. I'm going to tell you whether you should get one or not. And I'm going to tell you what you should do if you do get one. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continually video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through on this cool day i've got these nice heated gloves here if you want to get these gloves uh this airbag vest has helped keeping me safe out there my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet this dianese winter jacket my camel pants all my gear I always include links in the description in the comment section of my videos i just felt compelled to talk about this again because i've seen some youtubers uh that got suckered into buying you know the electric sport bike for twelve hundred dollars and uh i'm telling you right now guys i you know as a lot of you guys know i bought in the past way back when i got back into riding i bought a chinese scooter and for uh, about 1200 bucks i think it was back then or less and i had two of them <laughs> believe it or not the one uh the one i actually crashed on going around a corner because it had horrible crappy tires on it and uh it was raining outside and the thing just slid all over the place and i was going around a corner doing like 30 miles per hour and it slid and i low sided and uh i did an insurance claim on that why i did that i don't know but i did an insurance claim and i got another one a white one the first one was orange by the way then i got a white one that, that was the same thing and that bike it crapped out at 800 miles um but i will tell you guys that woo, yeah baby <laughs> oh that's a pray to auto having fun out here feeling that power which you won't feel on that Chinese $1,200 sport bike that you want to get <laughs> I'll tell you guys that now I'm not I'm gonna tell you if you get one if you get one the first thing you need to do is get rid of the tires get some proper name brand tires take those Chinese tires off because they will they could end up taking your life because I'm telling you, they're horrible, man. All of them Chinese tires. Take it off. Then the next thing you need to do, if you got, if you get a a, a, a gas motor a Chinese motorcycle, make sure you do a valve adjustment and make sure that you change all the fluids and that you uh, tighten every nut and bolt and lock tighten telling you man that'll help keep you safe and keep you from having a real effed up day there are people out there and the reason why i bought mine in the past is because there are do people out there that got over 10,000 miles on their chinese motorcycle and scooters so that's why so people are some people are having pretty good luck with them man uh but they did the you know they did the valve check before they rode it they tightened every nuts and bolts uh, they, like I said, like they, they did everything you're supposed to do, you know, prep the bike before riding it, which I didn't do. So do that and you may be okay. But I'm going to tell you the biggest reason why I would never buy one. Uh, first off, it takes like a month to get a Chinese, either electric bike or whatever type of uh, motorcycle you get from China. It's going to take a month. And when you get it, you're not going to probably be able to return it so that that's a big drawback so if it's crappy uh you're pretty much stuck with a crap bike <laughs> they may ship you a replacement engine or something i don't know man but you're taking a huge risk 
Now I know it's only $1,200, but why waste $1,200, man? You can go out there and get a, a used, older Japanese bike for probably like 2,000 bucks or less. And uh, that's a, that'll be much more reliable than the Chinese crapper. Um, now as far as the electric bikes, I've never owned a Chinese electric bike, but I will tell you guys, I've, I've seen many YouTubers that have bought one. <laughs> and the thing is slow as molasses. The charge, it, the battery doesn't last long. The thing is, uh, the quality control is absolute crap for these uh, electric, uh, you know, motorcycles and the gas motorcycles. And so, like I said, you have to lock, lock tight every nut and bolt and screw that's on the thing, man. Or it, that bike could set you up for a real effed up date. Um, I would not, honestly, I think it's absolutely probably more dangerous buying a Chinese electric motorcycle than it is buying a gas motorcycle because you got a big battery, you know, on that Chinese electric bike. And if that thing, you know, catches fire or something, I mean, that could really set you up for a real effed up day, man. I wouldn't risk it. You know, like I said, you pay for what you get. The old adage, like they say, you pay for what you get. You, you pay a cheap price, you're going to get a cheap, crappy product most of the time, man. <laughs> so, in my opinion, don't waste your money on that crap, man. I mean, you're putting your health at risk and, and your safety and your life on the line for a $1,200 Chinese sport bike. It ain't worth it, man. <laughs> it ain't worth it. You gotta get you a Japanese motorcycle or even a European motorcycle. Got to be careful out here on these roads in the wintertime. Could be some black ice out here, man. But, I don't know. People are going to do what they want to do out there. But I'm just, I'm just warning you viewers out there. You know, don't be, don't. I know some of these YouTubers out there are glorifying them. You know, because they want to get views and everything. And they're not, some people, some of them are not keeping it real with you. As some of them are and some of them aren't. Uh, because some of them may have a vested interest, maybe collecting uh, a commission or something, or some type of return uh, for selling that that Chinese bike. So, um, so you have to, you know, I'm telling you, avoid them, avoid them. But like I said, take the necessary, do the necessary prep work if you do get one. But do whatever you want to do, man. It's your life and your money. <laughs> I learned my lesson so but leave a comment below and let's talk about it guys I want to hear you know your experience with the uh, the Chinese electric motorcycles and, and the gas motorcycles and uh, and I, I want to get your feedback you know I, like I said there's people out there that have positive experience you know not all Chinese companies are the same I'm sure there are some really good ones out there um, but you're taking a risk you know do you want to take a risk on a product that's going to take a month to ship to you and once you get it you're probably not, you're not going to be able to take it back and if you do it's going to probably cost you just as much or more <laughs> that you paid for the bike to ship it back to them and then they may not give you the uh your money back so i don't know guys it's on you man but i know i'm on a proper bike right here my priya tuono but i'm putting it for sale and i'm getting another new bike and I can guarantee you that it will not be a Chinese sport bike or any Chinese motorcycle or scooter for that matter. <laughs> but anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.